you see all the time is this Alistair. So the lineup from SKT is the sort of lineup where Peanut, just like Cuz we saw previously, can flourish. Turret dives between consistently invading in that series, and I expected to see them do that here as well, whereas on the side of SKT, scaling, 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 Cogmo and Gangplank don't really need any more editors. BDD is trading very aggressively. Yeah, he's been doing this all lane long, and you can already see the impact it's having on the CS lead. Faker has been having a lot of trouble in this matchup. He's got Blank nearby, but look at this aggressive room prison saying, I'm gonna go in. Peanut's here too, he got a 2v2 under the turret. Blank low on mana as well, and they can't even fight here. That was, was not really necessary. This was this level six I was talking about. They're gonna try to bring both of their ultimates in, but can they do it in time? There's the, the Zonia's the stopwatch, but he actually could not room prison in time. Is equalizing farm against the Sejuani, and now he's turned on. Yeah, I mean, we got this ultimate once again from the Malzahar. Tal didn't have a chance at the time. May still not here as we get the zoomed out view. Infernal Drake number two has started. Peanut's Should not be two chance. of these given up by Kingzone, but there might be. He's gonna jump oh, in and he, he gets him. it! A little bit too early on that smite, it got down to 145, I saw it. By Blank, it was just too early. But look at this, Gorilla is gonna get caught out, so they will trade the Infernal Drake for one dust for lane, but he didn't have it for the Drake. Here we go again, they're gonna layer their ultimates down here. Actually delaying a little bit because the QSS is available to BDD at this point, but... Again. Benefits the scaling team, which represents SKT. Turning on to the Camille. Gets the first part of the hook shot. At uh, we haven't even had that big fight where like four or five stopwatches are used. Saw a couple of those yesterday. Okay, well, may maybe this will be the one. This turret is really low. Got a flash in from Gorilla. Knock up on a blank, but he's got his flash up and available. Enemy. Just happy to go IE in this case. Is that considering just turning on Gorilla, he's all alone. Yeah, the problem here is that Bang can't get in the fight right now. He was zoned out, but they should be able to get Gorilla here. Bang gonna get that last auto attack. They almost feed it over to him. As we were saying, he used his flash early. Out of the Kha'Zix at this point in the game, they turn on to him. You're we talking about no QSS. And He's dead. If your QS or your jungler doesn't have a QSS, you're going to die to this team who has unlimited uh, poke. Here we got a 1v1 down here. Ta was secured up in there, but the Baron has started. Ezreal ult hits everybody in the pit. He's going to begin poking. You can see effort is getting pretty low in the front team, and they're going to turn this one onto the rise. BDD flashing away, trying to do his rotation. Bray and BDD still having a lot of room here, but Gorilla's going to go down in the front. Now BDD's all alone. 1v3. He's going to be going down here after that Zonius does go down. A double kill going over to Faker. Now Prey trying to go forward actually. He's going to kill Pang. But is it going to matter in the end? He knew he was going to die. At least he trades one for one. But in the end of this all, SKT wins the fight and they win the Baron. Yeah, and this part of the game, the fact that they have less of a front line, they don't have a Sejuani, they have a Kha'Zix who was dead at the time, means they can't fight front to back anywhere near as the Cogmore draft late game team fight of SKT. They cannot win each his realm war play with the Zonias. First with the stopwatch and the Zonias. This is the sort of pick they've wanted. Tal is overextended. That he is 1v2. There's oh. the barrel crit that you were talking about. He gets both of them quite low, but. Baron, blank and effort will not die to the Baron anytime soon. When it comes to Cogmore, Bang ends up taking a couple of Baron shots to help out. He actually takes the first with the Baron. Okay, here we go. We got a fight in here. It looks like Malzahar Faker gets taken out. Not sure what was going down here. Maybe just getting picked off. No doubt we'll get a replay, but a King Zone lineup. But let's see what they can do. You can see they're hanging around. We got a TP coming in right now from Effort, or maybe Faker actually. It's gonna get pretty low, trying to go for the steal, but no, it is gonna go over to Peanut. And that Gangplank ultimate doing a lot of damage. At least they will take out Prey at the end of this fight, finally getting some action. After seeing the recalls, they're going straight for Baron. It's tanky, still on 10,000 health. The teleports are being drawn. Ezreal's not there. They're gonna he have won't to get back there. off. Oh, the TP was canceled. And the Baron is still low. They're going to try to get in here. The GP ultimate is going to land onto this Braum. He's going to try to knock up Bang, but it's not going to work out. Gorilla, though, is going to stand beside Prey and get back to his team. And it turns out that no one is going to go down here. Peanut, though, he's looking for a pick. We were talking about what is the usefulness of the Oh, Kha'Zix. no, no, no. He's not picking. He's trying to delay. Oh, true, true, true. He just wants to use his W to get vision and delay. They won't be able to stop two recalls. They stopped one. Bang cannot recall. Faker does, no, Faker cancels it. We're watching in the minimap here, so much action around the top side. 
No one's died. Oh, Gangplank does leave. Teleport for the fight. Now they're going for the Elder Drake here. They have complete positioning on it, down to 5,000. Gonna try and rush it, they should get it. Yep, that they should, unless Blank can get the Miracle Steel. He's too far away. Now they have the Elder, they wanna force a fight here with the Elder Drake. Kondo is going to miss that hook shot, and SKT wants no part of it, but look at Blank's health. He's getting poked down from the Ezreal. Here comes Peanut, trying to pick him off, but it's not gonna happen, but they got a lot of health away. Maybe they can go for Baron. Now, Blank has war marks, but because of the burn, it took a little bit longer to arm. He'll be full health in about 12 seconds. They start onto the Baron. They have a quick Baron here. Blank's near enough to full health. SKT's contest might be too late. It's down to 3,000. Looks like it might be late. The ultimate's going to come in, and it's blocked. The Braum ultimate stops Blank from getting in, and now he's going to go down. That's going to be the Baron and the Elder. Here comes the Realm Warp. They want to get into that back line. Here comes the Kha'Zix up to Bang, and he is going to go down. They finally get that cockball in the back line. Baker now trying to go 1v2. He's not going to be able to do a double kill. And finally, Peanut is getting the kills that he's won it all game long. A triple kill going to the Kaz Nexus turret. They're going to go for the second one here. In come the Baron buff minions. And they're even going to get Tall out of this fight. They want the extra kill. Camille's going to pick it up. Khan gets another kill. And KZ gets the kill in game one. The power of the veterans, the power of the shock calls. Turning on to the Elder after the Baron had been just stalled out for 20 plus minutes. They take the Elder, they're proactive around the Baron after chunking out Blank. They chunk on it feels like with the side of King Zone, he makes it all about him again. I just love the fact that they're not saying, okay, uh, let's go super late game. Let's make gonna have someone walk up, tank the Baron. They say, hey, if you want to take a fight to us, we still have a Fed Azir and Fiora, and the Fiora split push will also be relevant for the side of King Zone. No true tank, though. It is only the Brawl. I feel. Here we do go. Match 15, game number two. Blank taking a little bit of poke damage. There's super Leash available to Blank. His jungling time is going to be slower, and they're returning for an invade anyway. So the smite was used, Blank cannot smite, but he's going straight on to Cuz. That's just what he wants, he's level two. Cuz is getting low, the bolus are gonna to miss. Go. He's got nowhere to miss, he's a go. He's running right straight into Tall. That should be first blood. Blank gonna pick that up. Very smart jungling, getting onto the Nidalee, knowing she would still blue. We'll see if he continues to invade. I think he has to. Oh boy, look oh. at this. Oh man, was it purposely missed Blank. to not get stunned? Blank's around, we'll see that Krugs are down. Okay, the level six is hit by both of these guys. Khan, he's gonna be stuck, gets stunned up. Here comes Blank, the bowl is gonna go on to him. Will they die, is the question. You'll notice that Blank have uh, half his way towards the Cole cash in is Cuz. Okay, he's gonna be flashing here, and look at this, Effort is right nearby. There's no escape for him. Nope. Can't jump over the wall in time, and Blank will get the kill. And they're not stopping there, they're coming behind Gorilla. Looks like a little bit, uh, oh, okay, they're gonna flash for it here. They wanna get Gorilla, that's double flash. Or they're just the arcane shift from Prey, but at least they get the flash out of Gorilla. I like it from SKT, Power. it's definitely excellent play, is top side. Okay, Hextech ultimatum, but can he burst down tall first? He's gonna push him away, he's, he's going deep, he's gonna get it. The health regen is gonna come in, flashing away, and Blank should be able to get this, but oh. what the hell? <laughs> Khan gets away and Blank anymore, so yeah. less buttons to press now for the Rengar. Ooh! It's a lot of damage. Uh, Red buff too that they stole earlier on. Oh, they're going on to Faker here. He's got some help. It's four members up against Faker Tom and Kench. two red buffs. Tom Kent comes in and will save his life. But look at the pressure we're going to have in mid lane now. Double red buff and no way to get near. Turned and on the style members. under the enemy turret. All of that time wasted. They're going. Here we go. Who wins Rengar this, though? ultimate coming in. Can he 1v2 this time around? That's the real question. Mm. He wants the grand challenge here, but this time they've got Galio near. And that's gonna be enough to take down Khan, or is it? He's still going. Always gotta catch me. We found out a few days ago that King Zone, when they get started, can do crazy things as tall as being smart here. Oh boy. Prey is getting low, though. They will force his flash out. Faker is nearby, doesn't have that heroic entrance. Tal, he wants to go in. There's the flash, immediate exhaust, and they turn it around. Uh, back onto Tal. He's forced to be. It's more popular in solo queue. Kuro still full tank, a lot of people full tank is bot lane. They're trying to replicate it here, but this time he gets the stun onto Blank. The heroic entrance though, Flash coming in and a heal from Cuz will get Khan out of the way. True shot barrage. 
making its way through. But I think we've slowed down a little bit. But as I say that, Grand uh -oh. Challenge is used. Hextech Ultimatum. He's got Rengar nearby, but a perfect repost right on the timing. Now we got another 1v1. Blake, you're not going to win that. He's got to run away. And already yeah, whatever vision they can around that Baron. You can see Blank's up there, but this time Effort is going to get caught. The ultimate coming out, and then Italy coming in too. Does have that flash, but the Fates call still down. Almost means the death of Effort. They have to use so much just to keep him alive. Oh, now boy. Blank's caught. He's alone. He was over there trying to ward the Baron, trying to come from behind. Did not work out. And Nefty. that. Right there is Effort's fault. He walked up with Fate's Call down, is turned upon, and then Blank just has to pay the price yep. of his support being out of position with no ultimate. And remember that Baron that was the worst case scenario? It's the reality. Items they are behind 14,000 gold. It's three to three, and they're 14,000 gold behind. The kills truly don't matter, guys. Eight turrets. Blank disappears! A, a, a spear into an Azir combo, and he just disappears off the map. This game might be the fastest game we've had. 1v1-ing, tall is Khan, and they're going for the end. An uh, end pre-30 minutes, unthinkable about it. What is going on? That's going to be the 2-0 as well. Combo onto everyone that SKT has. Even if Gorilla goes down, he doesn't even. It's going to be the ace and the sweep of SKT in a 2-0 victory. KZ are the champions today. Three times in a row, two B of threes, and a best of five. King Zone and Longju have defeated SK Telecom, but never like this, Valdez. They dumpster SKT in game two of the series. Cuz comes in, feeds a kill. It doesn't matter, because this man on your side.